to create your first application you have to navigate to a folder which you want to put your application in in this case I'm going to navigate to the documents then uh, personal folder then after you do this you then run flutter create then after you put these commands you put the app name afterwards and I'll just say test app for example mind you in flutter you mustn't use capital letters or special characters of some sort so you just have to know all about those rules then after you do this with my name test app I'll then run then after it is finished running as you can see here you then have to navigate to the folder to actually run it test app so it's right there then you can actually run the second way you can do it is you navigate to the view then command palette right there then once you open command palette it will show you a list of commands that are there available for you in visual studio code as you can see there's this one which is called new project because it's recently used if you don't see these because maybe if it's a new project or if it's your first time opening visual studio code then if you search flutter you see a list of commands for flutter right there then you can select new project then you just put your app name I'll say test app then once I do this what it will do in Visual Studio Code is it will, it will ask you to put it somewhere as you can see I've already mentioned test app right there so I obviously can't save it here but if I save it somewhere else like I've saved it in Fungal Geeks right there then I run it it will open its own window for test app and it will download everything necessary so that's pretty cool Let's run our first app and see what it will look like okay guys so the app is finished running and this is the demo app as you can see this is working pretty nicely so you can expand from this code and do whatever you want with it and this is the beginning of your flutter journey we'll now start to look at more in-depth code analysis watch out for the next tutorials